Hey everybody, Jackie Jean here, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on making your background blurry. Okay, so this one, I went ahead and I just pulled an image real quick, and I tend to shoot wide open, and so I do get a lot of blur already with my backgrounds. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to blur it out more. And so if you do have an image that is a little bit more clear in the background that you're wanting to blur, it's these are going to be the steps that you're going to use to blur it out. So, all right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my quick selection tool over here. And I'm going to select subject. And Photoshop is pretty good about grabbing them. However, we got that mountain in the background, so I'm going to take that out, make sure that I've got the subtract from selection right here in this top part that I'm pointing over here. And I'm going to just take it out. So I'm holding down my mouse and just getting rid of those lines. And now it has just selected them. So now I'm going to select and mask. And it's going to pull up this little window over here. And I'm going to go to my output settings in this bottom corner and select output to new layer with layer mask. Click OK. And we have extracted them out. All right, so now I'm going to go to my background layer, select that. And I'm going to duplicate it. And we'll call this layer blur. All right, so now we're going to go to filter, blur, and we're going to go to lens blur. All right, so you can adjust it right here. By decreasing the radius, obviously you're going to decrease that. So I'm increasing the radius quite a bit. Let's see, we're going to go up to about 82 and let's increase the blade curvature and the rotation. Just really kind of blurring it out there. All right, so I've, right now I've got my numbers and you can change this shape too. So I've got it on a heptagon, but you can change the shape as well. So I've got my numbers at 89, 64 and 245. You can also add noise if you want. I'm not going to add noise to this. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right, so we've got this nice blur around them. However, when you notice what happens with the blurs, you've got this nice little halo of that blur around them. It kind of extends them out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my clone tool. And see right there, I'm staying on that layer of the blur. So I'm grabbing my clone tool and I'm going around and just cloning out that spot. And because we've selected them and already cut them out, it's okay if we kind of mess up over there right behind them. So mainly we want to just keep continue cloning all around. We're getting rid of that blurred halo effect. This is the super quick way to do it. Almost done. All right, so we've got the halo off of them. There we go. All right, so now the halo's gone, but now like all of it's blurred, so we want to make sure to blend it in. So I'm going to grab my eraser brush, and I'm starting at 100% opacity, and I'm erasing where they're sitting. It makes sense of where they're at. It's going to be in focus because of the same plane, same distance away. And then we're going to go scale back that opacity. 
I've got it at 65%, so I'm going back just a little bit more, reducing that. And I'm increasing the brush size just a smidge more, reducing that opacity again, and going backwards. So kind of just lessening that eraser brush, making things a little less um, out of focus as it goes back farther. So just really blending that in. So now we've just got this main part right behind them blurred out. All right. So that's it. So that's how you blur it out the background. So you want to do that. Um, you want to select the subject. You want to extract them onto a separate mask layer, then run a lens blur on a duplicate layer of the background then just clone the edges around your subjects to get rid of the um, blurred out halo and then erase the um, depth of field as far as the distance from the camera and your subjects to the background just kind of blending that in and then you are done all right so i've got that finished I'm just going to polish it off with a preset I'm just going to pull up the camera raw filter and we're just going to do the simple solutions on this is the creative edge presets so i've got the creative tones too but these the simple solutions are a little bit more just natural so i'm going to run the jj number four we're going to run light leap six on there just add a little bit of light there do an exposure lift and we are done. So this is before and after. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks.